broke the tibia and fibula in about 35 places, lost two and a half inches of length, lost my ankle. It's enabled me to do the things I want to do with less mobility. Like it made me crippled, but it's enabled me to break out of the society I was destined to be part of. And I often think it was a good thing actually, I wouldn't be here otherwise. I reckon it took me five times as long to build as I wanted it to, it cost five times as much. <laughs> I think five's the magic number, five times as long, five times as much. And you've got to be an idiot to start a project like this. <laughs> When I come down here, someone took me around to Alistair's, said you've got to meet this bloke building a boat. And I got there and I think they were just either thinking about building the shed or just started building the shed that they were going to build the boat in. And the, the, the bits of his burnt boat, the one that burned down, was still there in the paddock. And that was gigantic, mighty, blackened construction ruin just there and he seemed like a cheerful you know the next thing to do when the boat that you nearly finished burns down is start to build it again you know and that's that was the first time I met him and I thought that's that's impressive it's not the sort of thing you get in inner city Melbourne well, I took 18 months of just pondering and then I decided well that's all you want to do, you might as well do it. And what else you do in life? Grow some veggies. Boast about the size of your capsicums or something, you know? No, once you start a thing, it's like pregnancy. Once you start, if it's healthy, keep going. You know what I mean? Any words? Yes. <laughs> Having babies is very painful. <laughs> and I've got stretch yeah. marks. Hey, what's going to happen? If Emotional happen? stretch marks. Well, we started with the dingo, and then we had other pets for the kids, but the dingo ate all the pets for the kids. One consecutively just killed them and ate them. And then we got the monkey in Thailand, and the dingo decided it was closely related to me, untouchable, and they formed this incredible relationship. So actually, the main animals we sailed with was the monkey and the dingo. And they just got on fantastic. It was incredible, actually. Quite remarkable. Life is a spark to be taken seriously. Very short spark. It took four and a half billion years to get here in your last 80 years if you're lucky. All boats are girls, mine's a lesbian. Well, I've only got two rules, no Christians and no suitcases.